Alright guys, welcome to a new video. This video I'm going to show you how to twin position on GUIs. Another video I'll show twin size. Or I might show it in this video as well. So let's start. First, if you have, if you, you might already have your GUI you want to twin. I'm just going to quickly make one. So I have my button that's going to make the GUI up here. And I'm going to get my frame, just make it a bit bigger. A bit smaller actually now. Alright, so let's say we want this gate or this not game this GUI to go from this side all the way to the center in a smooth position. So let's add a script into our screen GUI. We're gonna do local GUI with equals or GUI the script dot parent dot frame local toggle script that kind of text button you can put these as anything so we're going to do toggle mouse, button, mouse button one click to connect function or not player so when the button is pressed these are abbreviations this is when the getting when the button is pressed when you press on the toggle button this will happen now we're going to get tween so we're going to do gui tween position as you can see here and we're going to press enter so it'll look like this so first we're going to get the ending position so put the frame where you want it to be when it's open go into the properties tab and find position and then copy that position go back into the script and to type in it so udim2.new we're getting a new position and then we're going to put in the position this is going to be the position i usually like removing these because it just looks cleaner So then you've got the ending position. So let me just so you want to put a comma. Then I'm just gonna say end pause. So then once you got it, so then you put your end position. So now you can move your frame to where you want. So I want my frame out of the screen. So I'm gonna go from the side. Then you wanna choose if you want it to go in or out. So if you're making a making it visible, you want out. Then I'll show you how to make it do in or out so you can keep pressing the button over again. So then, you want to choose a style. So basically there's multiple styles, like, I don't have the list now, but I'll probably get the list and link it in the description. So there's stuff like sign, quad, and court. I'll link the list in the description so you can see how they all look. Just input the style here. I'm going to use quad because it looks nice. Then choose how long you want it to take to get to that place. I usually use 0 0.5. Then this I usually also right. So you, this is pretty much it. You don't have to add any extra. The extra parts I have an automatic preset, and those aren't that important, or they don't have, play a huge effect. All right, so now. What you're gonna do, so this is basically the first script if you want it to go there, but you won't be able to make it go away. So if you go into the game, when you press the button, you'll see the GUI will go to its position. But let's say you want it to go back, because right now it won't go back. Alright, so we can make a new abbreviation local on, and we're gonna make it equal false. So if on equals equals false, then, and then we're gonna make on equal equal true or I mean equal true so if it's not currently on then it's going to or we gotta put our end here too so if on is not true so if it's not uh, like visible then we're gonna make it go to the position and make on equal true but else if on equals equals true then and you can copy this and all you have to do is change out to in and change this position to its current position so go into the prop so we'll select the frame go into the properties press the copy position paste it in right here oops paste it in and then just remove these so basically if on is false meaning it's not available like not visible on the screen you're gonna make it go visible onto the screen but if and then we're gonna make it on true 
but if it's not visible on the screen, or if it is visible on the screen, then we press the button and it'll make it not visible on the screen. So then we're going to make on equal false. So then we're going to press play and this should make our GUI go in and out many times. And then when we press it, as you can see, if we let up the game load, it appears, goes away, appears, and it goes away. You can put this GUI anywhere you want. So if I just scale it up so we can actually grab it, you can put it from the top. And then you just get the position. You change this to that position. Remove the little marks. Or I remove little marks. It does sometimes work with those marks. But better to remove those. So now if we go into the game, it'll tween like this. Oh, it's showing you, but that's fine. As you can see, it's going like this. And the different styles, let's say if I put it on sign, so if we replace quad with sign, and we load up the game, we will see a different animation when it's going down and up. So as you can see, it's a bit different. It's just like it's not slowing down or speeding up at any point, it's just going the same speed back and forth. So I hope this tutorial helped. If you have any questions, please comment them. I'll make sure to answer them. I'm sorry if this was not as too detailed. I hope I made it detailed enough to show how tweening works. Next, we will show tween size. Or first, I'm going to do the next part of the clicking simulator. Then I'll show tween size. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed.